Hi everyone, in this framework tutorial we're going to create this awesome spin animation using the arc component from framework.supply. You can find its link in the description below. Uh, and taking advantage of framework's amazing animation features without writing a single line of code. As you see, the arc element has also another loop effect uh, that makes it bigger and carries it outside of the border every 10 seconds, uh, which makes our animation even better and more interesting. You can find the file link in the description below uh, if you want to check and remix. So let's get started. First, I will copy arc text component from framework.supply. You can find the link uh, also in the description below. So uh, I'll click copy and going back to framer, I'm going to just paste it. Then I will change its content to just design between diamonds. And uh, its color to lightest from my color styles and make a uh, color's opacity 60%. And I will make its font Barlow. Font weight bold. And font size uh, should be 16. I will also enter one for the word value, which affects the letter spacing. We also want the arc rotation to be slow. So after turning rotate on, I'm going to reduce its uh, speed to 3. I will also set its align property to center. Let's preview it. And as I see it, the animation works the way we want. Now we can add the border around our arc, but uh, we need to create another frame for that. So I will create a new frame holding shift and uh, I will name it border I will make sure that its aspect ratio is locked and I will make its width 205 and I will make it 100% rounded by dragging the dot at top left corner to the center and I will add a conic gradient to it creating two color stops on the left and right with turquoise that has 30% of opacity both on the left and right of the gradient bar that goes to transparency like this yeah something like this uh, looks better then uh, I will add a border to it with color turquoise from the styles and I'm gonna make its opacity 35% I will make its width 2 pixels and its style dashed then I will select both arc and border layers and align them both horizontally and vertically let's add the loop animation of the border After adding it, I'm going to make its 2D rotation minus 360 degrees. Since uh, we want it to rotate in the opposite direction of the arc, we need the rotation angle to be negative. Uh, let's check it. This one's also too fast. I will make uh, borders time 40 seconds under transition. Let's see it again. This is much better, right? And it looks great since arc text and border rotating in opposite directions right now i will add the icon so i'm going to insert the material component i will lock its uh, aspect ratio and make its width 50 pixels under material component properties uh, i'm going to make its color lightest and icon design services then I will select icon, border and arc and uh, align them both horizontally and vertically. And I will add a loop effect to the icon. And uh, in the effect settings, uh, I'm going to click 3D next to rotate and while uh, making Z zero, I'm going to uh, enter 364 Y rotation. Let's check it. And uh, this one is also too fast. I will make its 
time under transition. Eight seconds. Let's see it again. And it looks much better, right? To transform the arc on the border, I will add them to a frame first. So uh, after selecting them both, I'm going to right click and select add frame and rename the frame arc and border. Now we can add properties to this frame to transform both arc and the border comfortably, right? So while the frame is selected, I'm going to click transforms and first add a preserve 3D property, which is going to keep the included elements on the same 3D space. Then I will add a perspective and uh, make it 500. Lastly, I will add a rotate property and click in 3D. I will make the X value 50. Let's see the 3D rotated version of our animation. And it looks great, right? As the last improvement in our animation, uh, we're gonna add a loop effect to the arc. So uh, after adding it, I will make it type mirror, opacity 0.5 and scale 1.7. And of course, we need it not to be annoying, but being a nice and slow animation with enough intervals, I will make it delay 10 seconds normally but to be able to preview comfortably for now, I'm going to make it 5 seconds and let's preview it. So uh, every five seconds, our arc is going to get bigger with slightly lower opacity. And uh, it's going to go back since we selected uh, the animation type mirror. And the transition is going to happen in one second since uh, we set time that value. Now I can make it 10 again, because uh, in a real world design, even having this animation happening every 5 seconds can be really annoying for the user, and we don't want that, obviously. So let's preview it once more. And after 10 seconds, our rotating arc text is gonna get bigger, and it's gonna be carry it other side of the border and after 10 seconds it's gonna take its uh, original position i might make another tutorial that uses this animation as title section of some scroll sections uh, turn it into a component with variables for text and icons and changing its variants according to the active scroll section so uh, if you like to see that stay tuned i hope you liked the tutorial if you want to see more be sure to subscribe turn the notifications on and check my other tutorials so uh, see you on the next one